Pine Ridge. And they happen to say, well, you go on a Pine Ridge, but you actually go on a Crime Ridge. I'm not, I'm not telling a joke. That you go on a Crime Ridge today. And so they didn't really have nice things to say about this school. They didn't, they didn't put this school on, on a high note. Matter of fact, in the book of John, Nate, Nathaniel and Philip are called to Jesus, and Philip goes to Nathaniel and says, we found the Messiah. We found Jesus. We found the one that the prophet spoke about, the one that the law spoke about. And Nathaniel says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Meaning, can anything good come out of the ghetto? Can anything good come out of Pine Ridge? It's Crime Ridge. All of those kids are lost. All of those kids, all they like to do is fight. All of those kids, they're not going to amount to anything. But I'm here to tell you, if you didn't you walk with Jesus Christ, if you didn't have the King of Kings in your heart, you will amount to something. You will be something. I'm telling you today. I'm telling you today. I come to speak faith into your heart. I come to talk about the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, it's funny that you just did a whole true and false and... When she asked about Jesus and Jesus rising from the dead, everybody moved over to the right and said, that is true. Well, if you didn't believe that and trust that and honor that, I'm telling you that the Lord Jesus will be with you wherever you go, no matter what you do in life. But you have to honor that. You have to honor that resurrected life. Listen to me. Listen to me today. If you would have had, how many of you consider yourself a child of God? That's almost all the room. If, if I were honest, you are honest, and I ask you an honest question here today. On a scale from 1 to 10, what do you rate your relationship with the Lord? Do you rate it a 10? Do you, if you are really honest, some of you are 10, some of you are 5, some of, I'm asking you today, I'm asking you today, if you look in your hearts of hearts, if you look in your mind of mind, if you go deep into your spirit and say, man, I'm not on fire for the Lord, but I want to be on fire for the Lord. Man, I want, I'm, I'm coming out of the ghetto. I'm coming up and I'm rising up as a star. I'm going to be the shining light. I'm going to be that person. Today, I'm telling you, I'm asking you as, as, a, as a person of God. Yes, I'm a, I'm a former professional boxer. My gym is in the land. I have some information for y'all. I'll give you that. I have a youth group every Tuesday at Faith United Church. I'd invite you to that. I want you to come to that. But the first thing that I want you to do, I want you to, I want you to stand to your feet if you say, I want to be a light of light. I'm asking you. I'm asking you to stand. If you didn't be bold enough to stand on your feet, who wants to stand? All of you rose your hand and said, I'm a child of God. Oh, yeah, I'm a 10. Then all of you should be standing here today. All of you. And some of you in the back, you came in and said, wait a minute, what's this going on? Where did I come into? The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you to a deeper relationship. The Lord is pulling you to a deeper relationship. Listen to me. You don't have to live a broken life. You don't have to live that way. You can live a life shining. You are called to be a light. You are called to be salt in the earth. Today, I'm, the Lord is pulling at your heart. And if the Lord is pulling on you, you should rise up and say, I want to be that person. Today, I make a stand. Today, I make that. I make that proclamation in the face of everyone here today. Oh, hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to ask you to do something. Pay attention. I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm not going to sprinkle any kind of fairy dust on you, but we're going to do a prayer of consecration. We're going to consecrate ourselves to the Lord. Listen, I'm not, it's Christmas time. I'm not asking you to celebrate Rudolph. I'm not asking you to celebrate any kind of Santa Claus. I'm asking you to celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the one who rose from the dead. And now he lives inside of you. When you make this consecration, when you turn your heart to him, the Holy Spirit comes to reside and live inside of you. And he gives you the power to overcome sin. He gives you the power to overcome temptation. You don't have to be a statistic. Don't call me no crime rich. I'm from crime rich and, and you know what? I, man, hallelujah. I come on the first of my class. I'm a shining light. That is you. That is this generation. You will shake this generation. You will shake this world. But you can only do it with Jesus. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift your, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. And, and with conviction. I mean conviction. 
With, with all of you got concentrate. No joking around, no poking at each other. Really concentration. I want you to repeat this prayer. This is not some religious thing, not some, some check mark that you put, but from your heart. This is from your heart. Repeat after me. Father. Father. Oh no, it's got to be better than that. Father. Father. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I surrender my life. I surrender my life. I give you my heart. I give you my life. Forgive me, Lord, for being far away from you. But today, Lord, I consecrate my life. I surrender my heart. I give you all of me. Today, Lord, I believe in you. That you died for my sins. That you rose from the grave. And that you sent your Holy Spirit. He sent your Holy Spirit to live inside of me. To live inside of me. Today, Lord, Today, Lord. Give, me the power give me the power to overcome. To overcome. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty give name. the Lord the loudest shout, the loudest amen that you ever heard. We're going to do a raffle. Let's get one of the, one of the leaders to come up here with me. We're going to do a raffle. I'm not allowed to give you cash. I'm a cash guy, but I'm not allowed to do that. So, so I got to give away gift cards. So I'm going to give two gift cards. All right? Actually, if one of y'all can grab my backpack over there, hey. behind that thing. Each gift card, I couldn't find it, like I wanted to find 25, 25, but I couldn't do it. So I have two $50 gift cards that I want to give to you, okay? And, and, and I ask Sister Jessica, every time I come, and every time I come here, because I want to make a, a routine of coming here, that I give away some stuff to you. I want to bless you. How many know the Lord is good? Amen. The Lord is good and the Lord wants to bless his children. And you're his children. All of you stood up here today and said, I give you my heart. So you're his child and he wants to bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you, you pick. You pick. You pick with right him. And then we'll call out the numbers. Hey, pay attention to your, to your things. We're going to read the last four. Last four? The last four of your ticket. Two, three, eight, four. Two, three, eight. That's you. That's you. Come on. Come on. Clap for her. That's another job. Hallelujah. That's $50. Go ahead. It's a, I didn't get it at Starbucks. I did, it's a Visa one, so you can spend it on whatever y'all want. All right, we got the number two. Last four. Two, four, six, nine. Two, four, that's it. Oh, come on up. Come on up. Two, four, six, nine. Let's check two, four, six, nine. Yay! Right. So the, the next time I come, I'll bring more stuff. I'll give away stuff. We'll talk about the Lord a little bit more. But listen to me. Now I feel I feel the Holy Spirit, and I feel that you can go out into this to this school, and with the power that the Lord gives you, and not be so. Crime rich. I can't. I, I couldn't even take it. I was like, "What? These young people? You ain't that. You ain't that. You a shining light. The Lord has called you to be a light. The Lord has a calling on your life. He's calling His generation. Do you know that the Lord is coming soon? The Lord is coming soon. Whether you believe that or not, He's coming soon. So you need to be ready. You need to be ready. And it doesn't matter with the age." doesn't matter. Little bit, it doesn't matter. You are the children of God. Amen? Amen. Amen.
We got some pizza for y'all. Don't bum rush. Do it. Sit. What? Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad. My bad, my bad. My bad. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. I'll get in trouble. I'll get in trouble. Okay, we're gonna pass it to y'all. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll pray over the food. Cool? My bad, my bad. See, I'm from New York, so 